Hey guys, this is AdGaming1776 and I want to come at you with a performance video for Forza Horizon 3 and I want to show you just how well the game can play in 4K despite the fact that the game is fairly broken performance wise and I also want to discuss some of that brokenness with you. So right off the bat I want you to notice we're using a 4790 processor in this video. Now that is a Haswell chip. It is the mainstream i7 for its time and you could not overclock it and as a matter of fact it maxes out at 4 gigahertz. Now interestingly enough this chip can play the game almost flawlessly whereas a 4690K that is overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz cannot and I've had people in the comments tell me that their 4690Ks overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz cannot either and I keep coming back to this theme over and over again between my experience and what I've seen in my comments where i7s have a fighting chance to play this game well enough to get by at least around a lock 60 FPS not quite perfect it, it could stutter 80 to 90 95 percent of the time but it's good enough you can play the game and enjoy it but i5s just don't get that chance so let me talk to you about all this, all right? If you look here, this is the NVIDIA control panel. If you have an i5, doing these things can help you, but you're going to basically need a GTX 1080 if you want to do 60 frames per second at the medium preset, and even then it'll still struggle. Or you could cap the frame rate to 30 FPS, and what I've tested is my 4690K paired with the GTX 1060 can do the ultra preset, including that four times MSAA, at 30 FPS. Now you would choose 30 FPS inside the game. All right, I'm just trying to manage your expectations and show you guys what you might be able to expect. All right, so in my case, with my configuration, um, we should see 60 FPS more or less, a little bit of stuttering, like I said. 80% uh, of the time it should play okay, maybe even 90% it'll play okay. And again, with an i5, you probably will not be that lucky, and I'm sorry. So anyway, but this applies to everybody regardless of processor. Something that's very important with this game is you want a 60 hertz refresh rate, okay? This game seems to hate the 144 hertz screens. And even if you go into the game and try to cap it, it with a 144 hertz screen for starters, it won't even let you cap it at 60. It lets you cap it at 48 or 72. So what you want to do is you want to have a resolution that says 60 hertz. That is very important. You want to do that, all right? Uh, you also want it to be here in this section where it says Ultra HD HD SD, okay? You would think, if you, especially if you're hooked up to a monitor with a display port, which we're not. This is a TV in front of you. But you would think if you were hooked up to a monitor with display port, you would want to be down here where it says PC. You don't want to be there, all right? Even on my 1080p 144Hz monitor, even on my 1440p 144Hz monitor, I make sure... I'm up here. Now the reason for that is the game plays in windowed mode. It's a UWP game, a Universal's, uh, Universal Windows platform game, and this game does not care at all what you tell it here. I say it doesn't care at all, it actually does to an extent. That needs to say 60 or 30, and VSync needs to be on if you don't want it to stutter. All right, That matters. But outside of that, these UWP games, at least this one, in my experience, really pays attention to what your NVIDIA control panel says. And I know that because when I record a gameplay at 720p, you see, there, let me show you. You go here, all right? Now, if I chose 720p for some reason, which I sometimes do, and I use an Elgato, that records a 720p file for every game I've ever tried. But with this game, it makes a 1080p file. And it's funny because I've selected 720p when I've done that, but it still gives me a 1080p file. And that has led me to believe that and the fact that doing these tricks make the game play better, that has led me to believe that this particular UWP game, and maybe all of them for that matter, they are paying more attention to what the NVIDIA control panel says than they are to this. However, again, this particular game, if I don't want it to stutter, I need to be here. Now, let me show you my settings. Again, we're using an overclocked GTX 1080. It's a super clock from EVGA. 
We're using a locked processor 4790, and we have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 1866 megahertz. Now these are the settings I'm using, including MSAA. Now, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, oh, we're still zoomed in. There we go, I want you to be able to see that frame rate counter. All right, so I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, lost my train of thought. Keep working with me, we're gonna push through this, I don't edit my videos. Uh, anyway, these are the settings for this hardware, and we're gonna play it 4K. I remember, I was gonna tell you right off the bat, there will be stuttering because there's one more piece of the puzzle, all right? So let's go. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna have to turn the sound down so it's not distracting. I thought I was gonna be able to have it on, but we're gonna turn it down. All right, so when we start this race, it's actually going to have some stuttering, believe it or not. Even though we did a custom resolution, even though those settings are turned down, there will be some stuttering. So we're at 60, I'll call it out when it stutters. It hasn't really stuttered yet, even though it did go down to 59 once. Okay, it just stuttered but I didn't see the frame rate go down. So what we're looking for is stuttering and for the frame rate to go down. And this is a really good race for your testing. So if you're gonna play the game, this is Surfer's Paradise. This is one of the first races. It's called something like the Three Bridges Circuit, something like that. This is a really good race for testing stuttering because normally I get quite a lot of the stutter. All right, so so far, there we go, down to 55, it hitched but normally it would be stuttering way more by now. See, this is another thing about the game. The stut there we go, 57 and a stutter. The game is performing randomly. On top of all other things, the game is performing randomly. There we go, 58 and a stutter. So let's pretend it was stuttering more. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control-Alt-Delete. All right, we're gonna bring up the task manager. We're gonna go to it and Normally your task manager will look like this, all right? So we're going to go to more details over here, and then we're gonna to go to a tab up here called details. It's up there. So we're gonna to go to that tab, and then we're gonna find Forza underscore X64, and then we're gonna set the priority to high. Now in my experience, setting that priority to high has not fixed it, okay? But that's cool. For some reason, there's a song and dance that I go through that seems to help out. And by the way, I didn't come up with the changing the priority thing. Other people before me did that, and they told me in the comments on another video. All right, so we're getting some bad stuttering. It went down to 53 frames per second, 57, yeah. So high priority sucks for me. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Low priority normally works okay, but I usually have to do high priority first. Like I said, it's a song and a dance. Now the thing is, is I'm actually very, very addicted to Forza games. I don't play Madden, I don't play um, FIFA, I don't play NBA 2K, I don't play um, whatever games people get addicted to, Hearthstone or, or um, <clears throat> Overwatch or any number of these games that come out. I don't get addicted to those, but what I do get addicted to is Forza. So as a result of that, I've been willing to work really hard. Now, we are at a perfect 60 FPS right now, okay? And it's for a handful of reasons. Uh, when we go around this particular corner up here, we might see frame rate dips. It always dips in this corner. It was perfect, though. It didn't dip. It stayed at 60. All right, so here we are. Now it just dipped to 58, and I felt a little stutter. Like I said, it's going to be 80% stutter-free. Sometimes, if the game feels like being nice to you, it'll be 45, um, 95 percent stutter free. But it's still going to stutter about 15, 20 percent of the time. All right, we won't get rid of the stutter. Since I've gone to low priority, it stuttered for me twice. There goes another time. All right, three times it stuttered, and that's not a very long period of time. So it can be annoying. This is not a perfect fix. The thing is, is you know if you've played with different hardware, especially if you played with an i5 and a weaker graphics card, you know that only stuttering three times in half the race, a third of the race or whatever, that's actually pretty decent, okay? That's where we're at. So I'm addicted to the game, blah, 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 I jump through these hoops. So here's why it's playing well, okay? And I'm gonna drive around Surfer's Paradise and I'm gonna show you that it's playing well. Matter of fact, let me show you this. I'm going to show you the settings again um, for a few reasons. One, I want you to understand they're not crappy settings. And we're in 4K. 
We are native 4K on a 4K television. There you go, 3840, 2160. And then these are decent settings. MSAA is on, shadow quality is high. Shadow quality can only go up one more to ultra. Reflection quality is ultra. And the only thing that's on low is motion blur. So everything is medium, high, or ultra, and MSAA is on, and we're at 4K. So these are definitely good settings, and we're gonna get a pretty decent 60 FPS experience. And it just chugged a little bit to 57. Uh, 57 frames per second. All right, so here's the deal. The reason it's playing okay is one, we're using an i7. Two, we did a uh, resolution that's at 60 hertz in the NVIDIA control panel. Three, we chose 60 hertz in the game control panel in the game settings. Uh, three, we have vSync on. Four, we changed the priority to low is what worked for me, but high priority has worked for other people. I don't know which priority is going to work for you, to be honest. High priority might work for you, or low priority might work for you. So we changed the priority, and then another step is we are brute forcing the game. Because uh, these these settings, these settings, and that's what I was going to talk about when I had this open, these are, while they're not bad settings, they're also not mind-blowing settings either. You know, they're okay settings. Uh, they're actually pretty good. It, it's hard. This is one of those games where there's four choices. You got low, medium, high, ultra. So the problem is when there's four choices is, is medium good or not? You know, it's one away from the lowest, but it's still decent. Like in this game, medium looks good. So some people will think the settings are pretty good and some people will think they're not. Point being is we're brute forcing it. We're definitely not running the ultra preset, but we do have some good settings on. And I apologize for going into semantics about settings because really, I didn't mean to do that. What I want to do and the point that I want to convey is with an i7 and with doing the tricks that I show, making sure that your control panel says 60 hertz, making sure, ooh, we just went down to 53 frames per second. 50, all right. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I wonder if this is a specific part of the city that performs worse than others. Because I've been playing this for hours to make sure it was going to be a pretty good 60 and I didn't get that bad of stuttering the whole time. So maybe that particular street is not a good street to be on because we're back to a solid 60 here. So let me go back to the bad street or at least in its general direction. Fifty nine frames per second. Okay, this still falls within eighty percent of the time being stutter free, and really we're probably at ninety percent. Now let me go to this race that I keep doing over here, because there is a race right here that will also bring out stuttering. Alright? Let me see if I have time to do this. I've only got about a minute and a half to go in this recording. Uh, with my camera, it behooves me to make my recordings 15 minutes or less, which is going to be good for you because a lot of you guys don't like my videos being too long, which is also, so I'm racing the clock. I'm trying to share a bunch of information. So that's also been kind of why I'm a little bit jumbled in this video. It's a little bit different. I wonder what that noise was. Is my camera battery going to die too? And my timer is about to go off. All right, so hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. I know it's a little bit rough around the edges. I might record a better one. Let me start this race. I, I set the timer to give me a little bit of cushion. Here, timer done. All right, so let me start this race. 58 frames per second and a little bit of stutter. 60. It's still a solid 60. Now, in this exact part, it would have been stuttering like crazy already by now. We did just go down to 57 frames per second. Again, it won't be perfect. This game is broken, all right? We're basically cajoling the game into performing well. Now, with that said, this is still incredibly beautiful and incredibly fun in 4K with this GTX 1080. Now, the same graphics card paired with an overclocked 4690K in 1080p, no less, cannot handle the medium preset. It can barely handle it, kind of, sort of. I have video of that. 
Now afterwards, someone told me, I posted that video, and someone told me to try it again in 4K, and I did, and it still played like crap, all right? So let's end the game. As you can see, this is pretty decent, and let's look at some stats, all right? So let's close this, close this. Um, here's my utilizations, all right? They maxed out at, um, here, I'll zoom in. So 84, 195, so my, all my cores got pretty well worked out throughout that. And then let's detach this really quickly. So my core clock was at 2012 a lot of the time, almost the whole time. B or BRAM used was 4.1 gigabytes. Um, this game uses 3.8 gigabytes in 1080p. All right, so that's very interesting. Temperature of the GPU, where is that at? It looks like 50, that's, that's nothing. That's a really low temperature, 50. This, this card is air-cooled, so I'll take that. All right, and then my system RAM usage was right under eight gigabytes. Anyway, i7s, you can kind of force them into working. i5s, they're getting the short end of the stick. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. And when I get a chance, I will try to do another one. I don't edit my videos, long story. Uh, I will in the future, I promise. I'm working towards getting an editing situation set up. I don't have one right now. Uh, that's why the videos have to be live demonstrations. And that's why I had a timer going. And hopefully this video is still going to be short enough that I can upload straight off the memory card and I don't have to convert it. Uh, because my external hard drive's full. Because my videos are too long. There's a theme there with that, as long-time viewers will know. All right, thanks for watching, guys. It's been AI Gaming 1776 And again, hopefully this has helped you. Peace out.